some details about Gaza and the Israel the Israeli border with Gaza that you're not getting in your mainstream media. There's an excellent piece by uh, AJ Plus, which is Al Jazeera's kind of like web web thing. By the way, initially when I was starting to redact it tonight, uh, the the news director wanted to title the show. Oh, sorry, not redacted tonight, but the 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 second uh, version of redacted tonight, redacted tonight VIP, which was all interviews. Uh, the the news director wanted to title that show "Redacted Tonight Plus," and I think it was because of AJ Plus. He thought that was a good idea. To me, it sounded like some sort of cleaning fluid. Like I feel like you always know, it's always like OxyClean Plus or something. And so I didn't want the plus, but <laughs> here's AJ plus. I mean, doesn't AJ plus sound like it could probably get the shit that's, you know, stuck to your car off. Like I'll you know, throw some AJ plus and that'll come right off. Anyway, that being said, here is, so uh, for those of you listening to the podcast, which is called the Lee camp show on Spotify, uh, I'm going to read some of this because, uh, it is, it, it's, I don't want to play the audio cause I think that'll get uh, me a copyright strike or something, but, um, I'm going to read some of this as it goes, but so it's on the defense, uh, uh, between Gaza and Israel around the world's largest open air prison since 20 May, March, 2018, thousands of Palestinian refugees trapped inside Gaza have taken part in the March of return, demanding the right to return to their homes in what is now Israel. So that's something you need to know is this is a it began as a refugee camp. It's now a prison, but it people were forced to go there out of their own homes when Israel was, quote unquote, founded, which was 1948. But so you have millions of people kicked out of their homes and sent to this refugee camp that is really a prison. Israel built a 25-mile fence and has shot people protesting near it, saying it's defending its border. But this fence isn't a border. You know how we know that? Because Israel said so back in the 1990s in the Oslo Agreement. This is such an important point. Israel itself acknowledged that this is not supposed to be a border because they won't allow Gaza to be a nation. So you can't have a border between something that's not a nation. In the Oslo Agreement, they said the security fence erected by Israel around the Gaza Strip and the line demarcated by the fence shall be authoritative only for the purpose of the agreement. Uh, they called it a security fence. All parties signed it. They did not call it a border. Um, and then... Yeah. So so and and again, that's because it's not they won't let it be a nation. So if it can't be a nation, then it can't be a border. Uh, they they want to separate it. They they, they want to pretend as if the this goes this video goes on to say Israel wants to pretend as if this is a separate nation that is trying to invade their country. But no, these Palestinians were there and actually are technically part of Israel, uh, you know, if we're pretending Israel is a, a country. Uh, so it's, you can't have a, you can't have a border within your own country. In fact, international law says Gaza is still under Israeli occupation. The idea that there's an actual Palestinian sovereignty in the Gaza Strip or even the West Bank is false. Israel continues to control all aspects of life in the Gaza Strip and at, Strip and as such is deemed under international law to still be occupying that land. So it's 306, the, the Gaza Strip is 365 square kilometers. There's only five crossing points of the Israeli fence, and three of those have been closed for years. So really, there's only two crossing points, uh, and only one of them is for people. So there's one crossing point. In September 2018, Israel allowed less than 6,000 people to exit through the areas crossing the entire year. 6,000 people. 
And that includes for medical needs, everything. Israel even limits what can go in and out of Gaza. Uh, sage, cardamom, ginger, dried fruit, potato chips have all been on the prohibited list. And of course, that includes plenty of foods. It includes uh, medication. It includes everything people need to live. When these buildings are blown up by Israel, and they've been blown up for years, right? Israel drops bombs seemingly all the time. Uh, they can't rebuild because they can't get building materials. Uh the video says it controls things to degree to the degree with. Sorry, I lost it. But so if if someone is born in the Gaza Strip, and they are not registered within the Israeli authorities, they do not exist. They are unable to travel outside of the Gaza Strip. More than two thirds of the people living in Gaza are registered refugees whose families were forced out of their homes by Zionist militias in 1948 in what became Israel, and many were killed thousands and thousands of people were killed. It was a, a, a genocide. Uh, by expelling four out of five Palestinians who had lived there. So this fence stands between Palestinians and their former homes from which they were evicted. And they've been forbidden to return. Uh, all important points. And so, uh, I, again, I don't, I don't support any murder of innocent civilians, uh, but you need the full story. You can't just tell one part, you know, have a vigil for one half of this and ignore the reality, ignore the, the death and destruction on one side. That's not a moral way to uh, live, you know, to, to, to believe.